this is Media Mentors, where I share a personal media mentor for me. So this is a person that's in the media that I look up to for their ideas um, and their perceptions. And it's, and it's really helped me like strengthen my thinking. So um, the author that I want to talk about today is Janine Roth. And my favorite book of hers is Women, Food, and God, An Unexpected Path to Almost Anything. And what she talks about in this book is how our relationship with food and eating is related to our relationship with life and our beliefs and our self-image and what we think about love. So it's really like exploring that. It's an easy read. That's what I love about it because I'm not the best, strongest reader, but it's an easy read, but it's to take you on a hard journey of like really internal work and self-reflection, right? And for anybody who struggles with food or who anybody who, you know, struggles with their body image or like even eating patterns that, you know, just that don't feel right, whether that's eating too much or eating too little or restricting yourself, right? This book can be so helpful in just that process of becoming aware of ourselves and like what's going on with us. What's at play when these things are happening? Um, Janine Roth says that how we're looking at food and how we're looking at eating is a exact is a total reflection and mirror image of like what we're thinking about life and abundance and love and money and our career and our self-worth. So so good. Um, she definitely has the experience to back up this book. She talks about gaining and losing over a thousand pounds over her lifetime, um, being starving herself at many points of her life, but also overindulging in many points of her life. So she's lived through that battle, you know, of like what we put in our body and like how we nourish ourselves and how we treat ourselves. And that was so huge. And the a big thing that I love about her book is um, how she talks about dieting being a desperate attempt to try to fix herself and when she decided that she was not broken and did not need it to be fixed she could finally give up dieting and the battle with herself you know and that love or goodness was never going to come out of hating herself which is exactly what diets were it was this like i hate myself i want to change this and like just shaming yourself and guilting yourself and the belief that that would somehow lead to this healthy, happy body. She knew that that was like delusional, you know, which so, so much of us believe. I know I believe that for so long in my life that like, if I just push myself or if I just hate myself enough, I'll change this part about myself, you know? So that is such a huge um, part of this book. And like, that's such a huge benefit of reading this book is it really helps you kind of unpack that. So if that's something that you're interested in, like definitely check it out. Um, the, this book has supported my journey and self-love and like ending my war with my body. So I love that. I still got a journey to go. Like I still am not perfect for sure. I still like have struggles for sure. I still go back and forth with like how I feel and eating for my feelings. Um, but definitely the battle or like the self-hate is definitely a thing of the past so i'm really grateful um for that and for the this book support through that journey um check it out and get back in touch with your true nature and who you truly are